We are the last game in town. The tax writing committee of the legislature debated a massive revenue package with the second largest tax burden in the country, according to the Tax Foundation. $3.2 billion in new taxes is not popular. Not the only state in the union that's actually raising taxes at a time that we have more money than we need to balance the budget. There are pages of new taxes, everything from a truck mileage tax to consumption taxes on the wealthy to a 10% corporate tax surcharge made permanent. There are tax credits. There's no admission tax, no tax on breastfeeding supplies and a child tax credit and an earned income tax credit. The hospitality industry can keep a portion of the sales tax next year and research and development tax credits are expanded. Tax amnesty for those who owe the state. Connecticut's historic $3 billion rainy day fund not touched, but some say accounting gimmicks break the spending cap. So I think it's important that they allow the Republicans onto the field to fix all the mistakes that the Democrats have made with this budget. There's good stuff in here, as you mentioned. It's not perfect, um, but it's the, it's the conversation that we uh, we wanted to have and the, the package that we feel uh, meets the moment. Playing games with the spending cap, moving things off budget, the same type of games that got us into trouble over the last 30 years, and big spending increases, which I said I don't think we need. Budget negotiations between the legislature and the governor will now begin. One lawmaker describes it as being in the fourth inning of a baseball game with many more innings to go. At the state capitol in Hartford, Jody Latina, News 8.